So welcome everyone. Very, very excited to have Russ Terry here. Uh, as I was just saying with him, this is such a hot topic right now. And so I know we're going to get a ton out of this presentation. He is a seasoned coach and motivational speaker. He's worked with Microsoft, Google, PwC. Uh, he's spoken at NASA, United Airlines, L'Oreal, and the FBI. Uh, so obviously he's going to have a lot to offer us. Uh, Russ, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to you. So I'm going to hide myself in the background. Uh, all the way through, I'll monitor the question panel. If somebody wants to come on live, you can send me a chat, uh, raise your hand, that kind of thing. So I'll watch for that as we go. And I will uh, turn it over in terms of slide share as well. All right, thank you. thank you so much, Kathy. I'm wearing my grateful shirt because I'm grateful to you for the opportunity to talk to everybody today. Hi, everyone. Uh, greetings from the New York City area. Um, oops, it says host disabled participant screen sharing. So it may, uh, uh, Kathy. Yeah, you're a panelist, so my apologies. Let me... It's okay. Uh, it says I'm a panelist. Uh, let's see. Screen share. I'm gonna make you the host. Okay. There you go. All right. Thank you, Kathy. So I feel so powerful now. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I won't let it go to my head. <laughs> All right, so hi everybody. Uh, my name is Russ Terry, and I'm here today to talk to you about how a podcast can benefit you and others. And hosting one will hone your message, number one, help you learn, number two, and broaden your reach and exposure. So uh, here's our agenda of what we're going to cover in the 30 minutes. I'm going to give you my background. I'm going to tell you who we are. Uh, I'm founder and CEO of Life Coach Radio Networks. So the purpose of this, number one, is to educate you on hosting a podcast. Um, and uh, secondary to that, if any of you happen to be inspired to want to come on board with us, that's an added benefit. But the primary focus today is teaching you all about podcasts. Uh, then what we do, how you would do it so that you can start to envision that and get comfortable with that. Uh, often when we haven't done something, it can be intimidating. Uh, the benefits of hosting, executing your plan, and then Q&A and feedback. And if you want to stay connected with me, uh, I'm happy to answer questions as we go, uh, either in the chat or uh, verbally. So Kathy, maybe you can help me navigate that. Uh, if Absolutely. I'm talking, <laughs> then I'll trust you to chime in when I take a breath and uh, let me know, hey, there's a question from this person or that person. But uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, thank you, Kathy. A little bit about my background. So my dream job was being a TV anchor and reporter ever since I was a little kid. And I'm very grateful I got to do that for five and a half years. Um, I also worked at PwC, PricewaterhouseCoopers, for 12 and a half years. Um, and when I left PwC to become a coach, uh, in my early years as a coach, my very first coach said, what if you combined your coaching with your prior media experience? And coaches, as you all know, get intuitive hits sometimes on what we should do. And I'm super grateful to her and for her for that. So uh, um, May 1st, 2013, a little more than seven years ago, we launched um, Life Coach Radio Networks, and uh, it's been a great journey uh, since then. It's one of my side hustles, if you will. My main work is as a coach and motivational speaker, but uh, certainly having these radio networks has been fantastic. So a little bit about who we are. We're a podcast and radio show platform on Blog Talk Radio. Um, to date, 130-some coaches from around the world have hosted shows for three months or more. So we're really really proud of that. We have close to 4,000 followers on Facebook and more than 800,000 all-time listens to our shows. Uh, people can listen either on their computer or uh, on their phone, however they consume podcasts. Um, that's how we can reach our audience. So uh, what 
we do and what you could do as a podcast host is host inspiring content for people to listen whenever and wherever they want. Uh, you can discuss any and all self-help topics, including but not limited to career, relationships, self-care, meditation, gratitude, healthy living, confidence, time management, um, anything and everything. And uh, I know from firsthand experience that um, hosting a podcast is a really cool uh, life experience where you can talk to people you know and help them live a better life. Um, not everybody can afford to become coaching clients, but everybody can listen to our shows for free. And uh, I know that I've helped a number of people in that way, and that makes me feel really good. So in terms of how you would do it, how you would host the show, uh, you can host it from anywhere. All you need is a reliable internet connection. So you might be able to see me today talking on a headset. You can use a headset. Um, if you look at my picture, let me make sure you can see my picture. Here's my home phone line. Most of the time I use this. I personally prefer a landline to a headset, um, but again, it's a personal preference. Some people use their cell phone. Uh, as long as your cell phone has good reception, you can use a cell phone too. Uh, mine personally doesn't here in my uh apartment. So um, that's why I use um, first choice, the landline, second choice, uh, the headset. Uh, in terms of how we do things, I personally train everybody on the technology. So setting up and running a live show on blogtalkradio.com, um, that's something that uh, you can do on your own if you want to. So some people are very good at learning things on their own and like working independently. So if that's you, then blog talk radio is something that you could do on your own. Some people like the community. Some people like learning from another person. So um, I, you know, whichever route resonates with you, I fully support. Uh, for the people that... Um, do prefer to learn from someone else, then I would personally train you not just on the technology, but also on how to structure your shows, uh, how to deliver your shows. As I said, I have five and a half years experience as a working journalist where I was interviewing people every day. So um, there are, uh, certainly as a coach, we are used to asking questions and that training helps us as an interviewer but there are still some tweaks that uh, you can make from uh, your questions as a coach to how you can deliver a podcast, uh, a mix of statements that you make and questions that you ask. Uh, we give you access to our Facebook page so you can promote your show to our thousands of followers. Um, we have close to 4,000 on Facebook, um, people on Twitter, maybe, 1300 or so and then a lot of people find us just through blog talk radio directly um fyi uh, regardless of how you do it your most loyal listeners will be people you already know um, so i'll give you best practices on how to invite them you know whether it's an evite a facebook event invite um, linkedin even has event invites now something they just added i think this year um, so getting on people's calendar is good. I think having a regular day and time is good. Um, typically what we recommend is uh, two shows a month. So maybe like the second and fourth Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern or the first and third Wednesday at 12 noon Eastern or something like that so that people can be programmed that, oh, okay, Kathy's show is on today or Russ's show is on today. So uh, that's an important best practice, if you will. Uh, let me pause there. Any questions so far? So in looking at the chat box and what we've got the question panel so far, we're good. Uh, okay. Everyone, we want to invite you if you want to come on live indicate that, send me a note in the chat box, whatever you want. Uh, really looking for your questions. I know this is something my team's working on, uh, so I'm excited to be hearing about it. 
Excellent. Good. Well, uh, thank you, Kathy. And yes, as Kathy said, certainly happy to take any and all questions, either via the group chat or verbally, if you want to do that. All right, so the benefits of hosting. Uh, it helps us as a coach hone our talking points and podcast topics can become paid speaking engagements. So I often tell people that hosting a podcast is best uh, or better uh, as a new and growing coach, somebody who's trying to grow their coaching practice or coaching business. Um, you have more time in the beginning to invest, to do things like this. And uh, as I said, it helps you hone your message. Um, the next point, it certainly helps you increase your exposure. Um, it's been so amazing to see all of our many former hosts and again, more than a hundred, um, have in so many cases gone on to do bigger and better things. And as the founder, uh, I'm the uh, uh, proud papa, if you will, whenever somebody says, Russ, um, I am so busy that I don't have time to do the show anymore. When that happens, I feel like we've done our job, that the person has so many great um, paid opportunities that they no longer have time for this. And again, I've seen it happen again and again and again, and I'm always proud when that happens. Uh, next, you'll learn some things. So by interviewing experts twice a month, you're pushing yourself to get knowledge fast. So when I was hosting my podcast early on in my coaching career back in 2012 and 2013, I uh, made it a goal to read one book every month. And uh, a lot of those authors I would then have on the show. And when they did come on the show, I obviously would have read the book and I would have a bunch of questions for them as a result. So uh, it's almost like you're your own accountability partner by pushing yourself to read and consume inspiring content, which of course will then not only help you, but help your clients. I do see we have a question. So what strategies do you use to book experts? Uh, Typically, uh, that's a fantastic question, Sade, and uh, do you typically ask for their fees to speak? So um, most people are happy to do it voluntarily, and I'm a firm believer that the experts will come to you when you say you are launching a podcast. So I remember my first guest, I went to a networking meeting, there was somebody at the meeting, and I mentioned when I did my intro that I was launching a podcast, and she said, oh, I should connect you with my friend David. He wrote a book recently and released it. So I had never met David. He was my first guest. He wrote this great book, Six Simple Rules of How to Live a Better Life. Um, then I was at an uh, ICF New York City meeting here and uh, the guest speaker was this woman, Jacqueline Wales. She wrote this great book called The Fearless Factor. Fa fearless factor. So I went up to her at the end and I said, you know, hi, Jacqueline, Russ Terry, new coach. Great to meet you. I love uh, your story. Um, I have a podcast and I'm wondering if you'd like to be on. And she said, yes. And uh, so it kind of happens like that. You start thinking, okay, who would be good? Who do I know? Who do I know that might know someone? And because you have two shows a month, uh, you have time to book those guests. So uh, that is something that it's almost like that great quote from um, the alchemist. Uh, you know, when you uh, say that you want to do something, the universe conspires to make it happen. I know I didn't get the quote exactly right, but hopefully you know what I mean. Um, and then the last point is meeting incredible people. Many hosts have become lifelong friends with other hosts that they met at least on our network, the Life Coach Radio Networks. Um, and it's been cool to see them. Uh, some of them have gone into business together, um, have uh, you know, met each other in person, even though they're from different parts of the country. Um, so that's been really cool to see. Um, Kathy's created an amazing community um, of all of you. And I know there's a lot of power and value in that. And then meeting other coaches from other communities can be the icing on the cake, if you will. 
All right, so uh, in terms of executing your plan, if you think this is right for you, here are the next steps. So as I said, you can do this on your own if you are the type of person that is great at that, and I give you a lot of credit. Uh, you can go to blogtalkradio.com, which I'm not formally affiliated with, and uh, it'll give you instructions for how to create a show. Uh, I'm not super technologically savvy, and I really like the blog talk radio format. I think it's something that is super simple. And for those of us that are not super technologically challenged, it is uh, a very good tool to use. If you are curious about the Life Coach Radio Networks and you want to join us, um, that's the URL, uh, lifecoachradionetworks.com. Want to be a host. Uh, if you go to our website, you'll be able to see that. Um, there is a nominal-ish investment amount on your end, which I always like to tell people, um, $50 a month for the two shows. There's also a nominal-ish setup fee. Um, uh, but again, the main point of this webinar is to tell you about podcasts, not necessarily uh, promote joining us. Uh, if you have any questions before deciding, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, that's my email. I'll also put it in the chat. Um, put in chat. Um, and I'm happy to answer your questions either about... Um, joining us, uh, set up a call to talk in more detail about joining us, um, or you know how to do it on your own, I'm happy to answer those questions too. Uh, Sade, thanks for adding me on LinkedIn. Gold star to Sade, <laughs> I saw that come through. All right, so uh, what questions do you have? Uh, and I'm gonna pause my share momentarily. I'll come back to my contact info um, in a little bit, but what questions do you have about hosting a podcast that we can answer for you? Uh, so one question to give you is how do you decide what to talk about? Ah, uh, that's a fantastic question, Kathy. So for me personally, I look at trends in the coaching sessions that I'm having with my clients. So as I think about those early episodes, um, uh, one client in particular was struggling from a relationship standpoint. Um, she had been with a husband for a long time. They were separating. Uh, she then had a boyfriend. And as she navigated both of those, relationships was very top of mind. So um, somehow I met somebody that released a book on relationships. So he was one of my guests. And I told her, I said, Maria, uh, I have a show tonight on relationships. Here's the link to listen. So we hosted the show and I asked questions of him based on things she was struggling with. After the episode, she contacted me and she was like, oh my gosh, Russ, I felt like you guys were talking to me. And in a way we kind of were, but you know, we worded it in general. I didn't say I have this client named blank, but uh, I know as a coach, I see trends in my clients. You know, the number, the top four things I'm working on with people these days are career, confidence, self-care, uh, and time management slash prioritization. So <clears throat> if I was hosting a show full time these days, then in June and July, I would do uh, shows on career, confidence, uh, self care, and time management. So um, I would say the trends that you see in your clients are the best indicator of what to have a show on. In addition to if you read a really great book and you come to know the author and the author is happy to come on, I would say those two things help you fill up your content. Awesome, excellent. Uh, and another question, actually two more questions because another one came in. So the next yeah. question, <laughs> yeah, this is great. Uh, the next question is in terms of building an audience, what do you recommend? So um, for me personally, I would send a Facebook invite out um, to people who typically comment on my stuff. And I knew that this type of content would resonate with them. Um, also people who were my clients, present or former. Um, 
the way Facebook events work is you can kind of copy the invite list once and then for the next event, invite those same people. Sometimes I would invite all of them. Sometimes I would kind of select or unselect some people. Um, I think people also find us that we don't know, which is really cool. Um, uh, Blog Talk Radio is worldwide. So um, one of the things that we have on our dashboard is the ability to see where our listeners are in the world, which is really cool. Um, the breakdown, male, female, um, the age breakdown, um, which I think is valuable data to help us see who are the types of people that resonate with this kind of content and who also could be potential clients, um, whether specifically or, oh, wow, I see women in their 30s is my top demographic. Let me see if I can get a speaking gig to a group of women in their 30s. Excellent. 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 Uh, okay, a couple more now. So what do you recommend as a budget amount? So um, if you do it on your own through Blog Talk Radio, there are a couple different options. The free option is 30 minutes. Um, uh, and then the uh, hour show is $39 a month. And again, Blog Talk Radio, I'm not affiliated with, but I know it from having done it. Then if you come with us, um, it's a little bit more. It's $50 a month but you have a broader reach um, to our, you know, close to 4,000 people on Facebook, um, the 1,300 or so on Twitter, all the people that follow us on Block Talk Radio. Plus, personally for me, and I want all of you to make the decision that's best for you, I would rather pay a little more to have a specific person teach me how to do it and guide me and answer my questions along the way than having to figure it out on my own. Awesome. Thank you. And you gave a piece of an answer on this one. The next question was how long for oh. the podcast? Yeah. So personally, we do one, We t I would say 95 plus percent of our shows have been one hour shows twice a month. Um, you could also do, you know, an hour once a month if that fits better in your schedule. Um, it doesn't mean that you can't do quick hit little shorter shows, but to interview someone, you would be so surprised at how fast the hour goes because as coaches, we're excellent intuitive listeners. So we may have 10 questions in advance, but then they give an answer. And because we're such great listeners, we want to ask follow-up questions based on their answer to really flesh out the topic in detail. So I personally think an hour is the best duration. Excellent. Excellent. Awesome. Um, and getting a couple of thank yous in here. So that's good. Uh, next question. How does a podcast translate into clients? So that's a fantastic question, uh, Kathy and Zara, who asked it. Um, I always am upfront with people that I don't want people to have the expectation that doing a podcast Friday at lunchtime is going to lead to a paying client Monday morning. It's more of an indirect route. I think it helps us get our message out there. Um, it helps people in our network see that we are a full-time coach who is full-time helping people. And I'm of the belief that at least of the 130 some coaches that we've had, the overwhelming majority have had great things happen to them somehow as a result of being on the show. Sometimes it's paid speaking engagements. Sometimes it's the idea to write a book and then uh, publishing a book for the first time. Sometimes it's paid clients. Sometimes it's just because they really love doing a podcast and that's the value for them. So uh, as long as you go in with the expectation that this may lead to clients, but it will probably lead to something great, you just don't know what that is yet. And that's one of the really cool parts of life. That is awesome. That's great. Uh, so how long have you been podcasting, Terry, for us? 
Yeah, so um, I had a show on somebody else's network when I was a brand new coach in the summer of 2012. And she created her own network. And as I was having my show on her network and watching Oprah's Super Soul Sunday right here in my living room, I was like, you know what? Her network wasn't focused on coaching. It was all kinds of different topics, um, love, relation, uh, you know, love, um, her show was two chicks, one mic. She's from the Bronx. So she's like, uh, anyway, but, uh, so I was inspired to start life coach radio network. So, um, I was like, I want a forum for all coaches to come together to talk about the type of stuff that Oprah talks about. Um, so we premiered that May 1st, 2013. So I had my own show, um, from, I would say fall 2012, uh, until, May 2013. And then when I started the networks, what I mostly did was host shows with some of the newer hosts. Um, so I probably did that for six months or so. And then since then, my business luckily has exploded. So I haven't hosted shows full time. But as um, we have had certain topics in the world, uh, especially as it relates to race and racism, we have done a number of maybe five or 10 special episodes these last six or seven years on that topic specifically, where some of us who are on the network would come together to do a show uh, on race, racism, uh, et cetera. So, That's um, awesome. That's yeah. awesome. So uh, Russ, in knowing we're running out of time here, Something that occurs to me is so often coaches hesitate to put themselves out there. They don't want to be salesy, uh, push their services, that kind of thing. And then I also know there are a lot of people that are afraid of public speaking. So the question to you is, what advice do you have, whether it's them being shy about putting themselves out there, them being shy about public speaking, what advice do you have? Okay, so I am putting in the group chat my favorite phrase, my best advice for up and coming coaches, be politely assertive. And that has benefited me so much in my career as a coach. Um, just like when Kathy reached out to me on LinkedIn, I said, nice to meet you. I found out what she was all about. And I said, uh, I was politely assertive in saying, hey, you know, I would love to share with your uh, group of coaches this possibility of hosting a podcast. And she said, yes. And now look where we are. I'm here talking to 18 of you um, about this. So I have benefited immensely. And again, I'm in my ninth year as a coach. I've built a six-figure business from nothing. Um, being politely assertive has benefited me in my business immensely. So uh, that's the number one thing. And then secondly, if you are shy about public speaking, what better way to grow as a speaker than to do something you're uncomfortable with and to step out of your comfort zone? And uh, I think people will be inspired by you doing that. That is awesome. That is awesome. We have just a couple of minutes left. Uh, so there's two different questions to throw out at you. Uh, let me give you this one. How do you end a session when your client seems to want to go on? So, uh, you know, certainly if we have a 1030 to 1130 session, then at 10 or 1127, I'll say, okay, let's pause there. What were the most beneficial aspects of our discussion today? Um, if let's say a client's going on and on and it's again, 1030 to 1130 and it's at 11, then at 11, I may say, okay, you know, I think I have enough background info now. I want to make sure we spend at least half the session on solution mode. Okay, awesome. And what are your thoughts on podcasts being purely audio versus audio and video? So Blog Talk Radio is only audio. So that's primarily what I've done. I also have a YouTube channel. I think being a former TV reporter, I'm very comfortable delivering on video. Um, so I would say for uh, each of the people that are on this today, do what resonates with you. 
Um, if you want to do something that's a mix of audio and video, go for it. Um, if you'd rather do just audio, then there are a heck of a lot of people that can consume content in that way. I know a lot of people have listened to my show in the commute, uh, you know, in the car on the way to work, back when people were driving to work, uh, et cetera. Excellent, excellent, that is awesome. So this has been wonderful. It seems like all of these questions have been addressed. Several people are saying thank you in there, so that's wonderful. Uh, what closing words do you wanna share? So I'll pull up my contact info in case people want to stay connected. Um, uh, like I said, I'm certainly happy to stay connected. So you can go to our website, uh, lifecoachradionetworks.com. You can email me, Russ at RussTerryLifeCoach.com. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, uh, find me slash us on Facebook and LinkedIn as Russ Terry Jr., Jr and Life Coach Radio Network. Uh, I'll leave this up for a few more seconds. Kathy, I'm so grateful to you for having me in front of your group of coaches today. It's been fantastic working with you on this. And uh, thank you again for this uh, opportunity for us to come together. Uh, it's been awesome and I'm loving all the enthusiasm and all the questions. Yeah, this is great. Thank you so much. So I will, of course, send a link to this recording on YouTube, and then we post that in our social media sites. So hopefully you can join our conversation on those places as well. And when I send it out, Russ, if it's okay with you, I'll just CC you. Uh, that way everyone will see your email address uh, and can reach out to you that way too. Perfect. Thank you so much for everything you do, Kathy. You are a visionary and amazing, and I'm so grateful to know you. Thank you. So appreciate having you here. Great insight. Everyone, thank you for joining us. We look forward to staying connected, and all of you, take care.